Hi, I'm Pete Kutzer from the Orvis Fly Fishing Schools. Today, I'm going to show you a great alternative to that slim beauty knot when attaching bite tippet when you're chasing after toothy critters such as pike, muskie, or if you're attaching a piece of shock tippet for some larger saltwater species. To tie this knot, we're going to use a piece of bite guard right here and attach it to a much thinner piece of class tippet. The first step is to take that bite guard and tie a double overhand knot. We go through once, then we go through twice, and when we draw this knot tightly, we're going to create a figure eight. We then take our class tippet, and we're going to follow this tag end back through that figure eight. I would go down on this side, and then up through this side, pull some class tippet through, and then I'm going to snug up this double overhand knot. Once I snug that knot up, I then take my class tippet and I'm going to do a simple overhand knot, but I'm going to go around my shock tippet. Some of you may have seen this knot tied as a uni knot, perhaps, but I'm going to go through four times. So there's one, two, three, four. I snug this knot up, make sure it's dressed properly, and now I can slide it down, tighten it up, tighten up my shock tippet, then draw it tight. This is a great knot. It's a simple alternative to the Slim Beauty. A good friend of mine in South Florida uses this knot quite a bit for tarpon. I've also used this connection for muskies, for pike. It's just a great all-around connection for attaching a heavy bite guard or shock tippet to a lighter piece of class tippet. 